what do you want her to know about how you feel right now? And what do you want to say like, right <laughs> before you're about to, to get married? I, I just, how do you I just, feel about her? I just can't believe um, that we are where we are today. And <laughs> um, I love you. I loved you since, since the moment that we met. Um, and it was a love that grew. And I'm just so incredibly blessed to have such a beautiful wife um, that loves the Lord, that loves me, that loves her family, and that literally would give anything for anyone else. I'm excited. I'm excited because I know that it is emotional, but you know, God has, God's goodness is what's brought us together, and that's what's going to be celebrated today. So. <laughs> so I'm just so glad that that we're getting, that we're getting married today. I'm just. I'm so happy. God, we thank you for time. God, we thank you that you are the orchestrator of all things. We thank you, God, that you have chosen Savannah and Louise to be together forever. God, I thank you that you will orchestrate their moments, their times, their the things that come their way, that you will equip them to handle it as a couple. You will give them wisdom and discernment as they go forward. You will give them peace as they deal with each other in the days to come and situations to come. God, we just give you glory and honor for this relationship that you have orchestrated together. God, we just ask that you would be glorified in the relationship and that we as friends and family would be a testament to your grace as we do life alongside with them. You are red in a sea of black and white.
chase after the heart of God to find me and to grow closer to me. You are so worth the wait. I love you with an unshakable love, and my love for you will never waver. You have a strong and compassionate heart. You love people. You light up a room when you walk in, and I love that about you. Today I commit to a life full of adventure with you. I'm excited to walk in the calling the Lord has placed over both of our lives with you. I commit to always love you without reservation and cherish you in the highest regard. I will support you through the joys and the setbacks that this life will bring. Even when things seem uncertain, I will be a safe place for you because I promise to never abandon my safe place grounded in the Holy Spirit. Louise, I am not perfect, but I am wholeheartedly committed to the process of learning to be a better wife by the wisdom and grace of Jesus. You are so much more than everything I could have ever asked for, yet you are everything that God promised me. I do not take this covenant lightly. I pledge to you all of my love and devotion for as long as I live. Okay, so um, I'm Katie Brown. This is my husband, Nathan Brown. And um, we moved here about two years ago from Wisconsin. So um, in the short amount of time that we have known you both, we have watched you serve God wholeheartedly, whether it be um, in worship to the church family in the DR, to kids in Panama, um, or your church family here. And it's been an honor to watch you both grow as individuals and watch you both grow as a couple. Even if the day you met, I forbid you to get any phone numbers from anyone at the conference that we were at. Um, little did I know that that day 
Luis's goal wasn't just to get your number for meeting for lunch the next day, but God had a bigger plan in mind for both of you. Um, he had already been working on your hearts leading up to this day, and this would be the last number you get for the rest of your life. Um, when we started thinking about what to share today, God started speaking to me about time. Two years isn't that long to know someone, to be involved and invested in their life, and we feel honored to be here, to get to be a part of your life. Um, so when God was speaking to me about time, um, he was speaking to me about time spent, time given, time that you've been waiting, time that you've prepared leading up to this day, um, time to rest, and time to just enjoy now getting to be together. Um, when God was showing me all this, I saw a huge clock, but I only saw the hands on the clock, the numbers three through nine. Um, and I felt it was a really, it was like I was looking at the clock really closely. Um, and God just wanted to remind you both. Um, I have had your time from the beginning. I have taken each minute and memory and I've called it mine. As you continue in this relationship, I ask that you continue to give me your time. Devote your minutes to me, devote your moments to me. When you see the hands on the clock, remember me as I orchestrate your day. As your moods and situations change and you see the clock, choose to give me your time. Give it to me together as a couple and as individuals. That time spent with me will return to you in joy in your relationship, in quick peace in your arguments, in quick grace as you hear apologies and you see mistakes, in quick discernment over decisions that come 